Hello Space Fairies and welcome to another Fan Art July. Today I'm not alone, I am joined by... It's me, it's Flickering Muse. It's Flickering Muse, also known as <laughs> Amy, and today we're going to talk about something that we're both huge fans of. You'll never guess what it is, bubble tea. Oh, I was here to talk about Donald Trump. So, if you watch Little Moments, you'll know that me and Amy drink bubble tea <laughs> a lot. Quite a lot. <laughs> on average, a lot, or quite a lot. I'd say, on average frequently <laughs> frequently also if there's any weird background noises we're literally lying on my bed recording this so i first discovered bubble tea well i knew of it because i've seen bubble tea shops around i think we actually both discovered it simultaneously but separately yeah i think so because this isn't when we were hanging this is like the dark times yeah before we hung out yeah a lot. um so i discovered it when i was doing an internship in london and i was walking around one summer and this is like my first job in central london so i was just like wow central london's really cool and then i found this place that was just dead it was like empty and it was called up tea <laughs> amy has just gently <laughs> caressed my hand in memory <laughs> So I went to try up tea and I was like, this stuff's amazing. Amy needs to get in on this. Yeah. And then and then I tried it with Amy and we were like, okay, well, now we're having this every week forever. forever yeah. yeah. My, but meanwhile. Yeah. My first bubble tea was in a place called Candy Cafe. Yes. Candy Cafe? Candy Cafe. Oh. Candy Cafe. Candy Cafe. Candy Cafe. Um, which is in like tiny little spot in Chinatown. And I think it was Keith who introduced me to it. And like, I think he ordered for me um, <laughs> because he's a man and I'm the one. <laughs> Obviously, I can't order for myself. I didn't get it. I didn't understand. And also, I don't think it was the best bubble tea on that day. Right. Like, I know that their bubble tea is a lot better than what I had that first time. Then we had up tea and they did watermelon. They flavor. did watermelon. To this day. Yeah. I still haven't found somebody who does good watermelon and bubble tea. Because what happened, Amy? What happened to up tea? After, <sighs> after a year of going to up tea and being like regulars, every week we went to up tea for about a year. Yeah. We had like loyalty cards and we had new he, ones he knew us he knew us he knew our orders then what happened then he left us but he did and that's the thing he betrayed us he did betray us it was a betrayal of epic proportions first of all they closed for what we thought was refurbishment yep we even left them a letter <laughs> <laughs> he posted them a letter we posted them a letter saying, please come back. We literally just slid it under the door yeah. whilst he was there. Yeah. And then they reopened as a fried chicken shop. Same guy. Same owner. He was just like, nah, I don't want to sell bubble tea anymore. He started selling fried chicken. It was such a betrayal of trust. Yeah. So that happened. So what happened was, after we discovered that Upti had reopened as a fried chicken place, is we were both at work, but on Facebook Messenger, both researching the shit <laughs> out of local bubble tea places in London. This is like the one thing we allow ourselves to be really snobby about because yeah. we genuinely have done the legwork. Yeah, yeah. We've tried places, guys. We've tried Boba Jam, Candy Cafe, Bubbleology, yeah. Happy Lemon. Ugh. So we've done the legwork. We, I'd, I'd say we've tried every bubble tea place in at least zone one. And we were trying to do further research. New places are popping up all the time. And we, f we found this one online called Bijou. Yeah. And they had a really promising menu. Yeah. And I think what sold it is that you realised that they did lychee. Yeah. So we were like, okay, we're both free tonight. Let's try it. And then you can see it in little moments. Roll clip, maybe. And that was us trying Bijou for the first time. And it was an enlightening experience. Oh, it was beautiful. Because the thing that I really like about Bijou, and I just want to stop and say now that we are in no way being sponsored by Bijou. <laughs> we really video. are, that's the thing. <laughs> but We're really not. Like the best thing about Bijou is that everything's organic, the the tea is like freshly brewed and it's not like that cheap syrup. Yes, because that is what really I didn't like about Happy Lemon. Yeah. Is the sugar content was ridiculously high for a start. Yeah. And also, they didn't use tea, they used tea-flavoured syrup. Oh, that. Ooh. It was like two layers of sickly. Yeah, you're just drinking artificial nothing at that point. But Bijou actually has flavour. And tea leaves, like you can see them using tea yeah. leaves. Yeah, it's amazing. I love them. It's gotten to the point now where there's one guy who, whenever we go in... Oh, the tall dude. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just don't give him my order anymore. He knows. Yeah. So what are your... You have two go-tos because you're seasonal. Yeah. Talk us through them. Right, so I'll start with summer, as we're in the summer now. <laughs> we are, that's true. I go for a fragrant and light, light G bubble tea with a jasmine green tea base, Ooh. not black tea. In the summer, I've been having it mainly with jelly rather than tapioca. Yeah, what flavour jelly do you get? Either get coconut water or maybe mango or maybe sometimes. I'll double light G. In the winter, which, is that when we first tried bubble tea? Was it? 
Was it, it cold? Was, it was March or April. So it might have been a bit chilly. It was quite chilly because that was the first flavour you tried. Oh. Yeah. So my winter go-to, winter melon, the appropriately named winter yeah. melon, which basically tastes like caramel. Yeah. It just tastes like drinking caramel, but without it being sickly or anything. Like it's not a milk tea. Oh my God, it's so good. Yeah. It's like liquid caramel with freshly made tapioca buttes. <laughs> what about you, babes? What's your, what's your go-to's? Well, I'd say if I had a regular... Well, it's changed because with, with up tea, my regular, my go-to was always peach iced tea. And then as soon as I discovered Bijou, their matcha is so on point that it became my go-to. Because I like I like the kind of earthiness of the flavour. I like that it's quite bittersweet and it's good for any weather. It's rich without being, uh, like overbearing yeah yeah, yeah exactly I'd, I'd say completely that and it's not overly sweet because i don't like too sweet drinks anymore yeah bijou's good i I'm, I'm open to trying new places but we've already tried most of them i would say if you can't find if you can't find bijou <laughs> um <laughs> of some of the chains because there are some chains now because there's boba jam bubbleology yeah bubbleology um, is so sweet though there's it's so, so sweet sugar I, it's so sweet but you can opt for customised amounts of yeah, sugar and I true. would say for a first bubble tea it's a good one to go to because the flavours aren't too out there yeah they're pretty safe they're just like apple and strawberry yeah it's a bit straightforward you know you're going to get a drink that you're going to enjoy yeah. so I will say of the chain kind of places props to them for making something that it has that, like wide appeal yeah like that's where my mum had her first bubble tea oh really and she actually oh, found she it have? mango Ooh. with passion fruit boba but yeah she actually found it quite easy to order there because yeah. they're just very newbie friendly very accessible yeah so they, they have they have their place and like i'm not one of these people who's just like no we discovered bubble tea it's hours back off i want the world to love bubble tea that's kind of where i stand with it I want the world to love bubble tea so it sticks around forever, but at the same time, I don't want to queue for my bubble tea and I want a seat every time we go to beach. <laughs> True, unless the weather's nice, in which case we go for a yeah. walk. It's like in Friends, how their table's always reserved and yeah. if it's not, then they just like <laughs> side-eye. Yeah, they just side-eye people until they like leave and then they can sit down. So in Bijou, if there's a huge queue, they give you a number and you sit down and they call your number and you go and collect it. <laughs> I don't think we've collected our own bubble tea for like they, eight months because yeah. they bring it to us yeah now. yeah we have table service we're like the only people who have table service <laughs> i'd love to know how much money we've spent there i wouldn't i wouldn't because i feel like i'm that millennial who could have bought a house if i didn't <laughs> if i didn't buy avocados i'm like that but with bubble tea i feel like the reason that they don't give us loyalty cards is because they know they'd lose too much money from it so in short we love bubble tea and you should too and i get a lot of tweets saying we try bubble tea and we like it, but I get similarly a lot of tweets saying we try bubble tea and it's not for me. It could be that you got the wrong flavour. Yeah. I know that the texture's weird. I know that Dan was very much put off it because of the tapioca. Yeah. You don't have to have the tapioca, guys. Sometimes you can literally just have an iced tea and it's perfect. Yeah, like, you know, the iced tea or jelly is a very good one to go into if you're not sure about tapioca or even, like, the popping boba. I think, yeah. I genuinely think that there is a perfect bubble tea for everyone. Oh. You're my perfect bubble tea. You're... You're... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying Fan Art July. There's more coming up. And don't forget to subscribe to this lovely lady. She is Flickering Muse on YouTube and Twitter. Whoop, 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 Say bye, whoop. Amy. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bye, guys. That's you. That's what bye. you sound like. <laughs> I disgust myself. <laughs>